interstate cooperation in those areas where it's necessary. Auch ich uh, hätte lieber I too would have preferred to have had good ties with the citizens of Russia, but I know what had what is hidden behind that. The occupation of the Crimea, the war with the 30,000 dead in the eastern Ukraine, the airplane that was uh, shot down over the Donbass, uh, fake trials in Russia, uh, where now a Navy uh, personnel are being held in Russia right now and in psychiatric institutions as well. And of course, it's, <clears throat> it's all part, we have to take into consideration also Moldavia and Georgia. Uh, before the Ukraine, they have suffered the aggression of, of Russia. And, um, and let's not forget that this aggression is in the direction of the European Union as well not conventional uh, aggression, uh, uh, but an aggression uh, which uh, uh, entails numerous different other conventional and non-conventional methods as well. And also, uh, when we look at the political spectrum as well, we've seen involvement with cyber attacks mingling in uh, European elections on the right and the left in different political parties in France. We've seen that. And also, we've seen uh, poisoning, attacks of different issues, uh, of different individuals as well. And all of this, now we speak about improving ties with Russia. Let's not forget also the fight, the fight for that uh, human rights activists are uh, they're under attack as well in Russia. And of course, we've seen the uh, various resolutions here in the European Parliament, in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe as well. Of course, we would like, in fact, for there to be better ties with uh, Russia, with Russian citizens. We would like for Russia to remain in the Council of Europe, but the conditions have to be there for all of that to exist. Thank you.